Hello and welcome everyone. I'm so glad to have you here on Monday, January the 20th. No, this is a recording. I am not live. Sorry, y'all. I'm on vacation this week, but I still wanted to give you a video probably an opportunity for y'all to chat as well. I'm not really sure how long this video will be. It could be that I'm able to condense it down to be really small and it may go a full you know hour to two hours long. It just kind of depends upon how things go and how much I want to show you. What uh, I want to do remind you is do check the description box down below by clicking on show more so that you can get the information that I am using of the links to products. So we'd love for you to patronage myself and Norella and anybody else that I share down below in the links. If you're watching this uh, and you want to speed through it and you're not here during the live replay, I believe uh, that's when you'll be able to do this feature, which is to click on the gear just below, or if you're on an iPad, click on the three little dots, and you can change the speed to two times the speed. So if you're really trying to get in a hurry, that's what you could do. All right. So here's what I'm going to do right off the bat is this uh, video today, I may look different from clip to clip because I'm going to work over on this for a couple of days because it's going to be a giant masculine junk journal that I'm putting together. I'm using the cover of a dictionary that I gutted and it's a big big journal and I thought first off I would show you one of the kits that I'm going to be using. This is a brand new kit by Calico Collage. She just released it. I filmed it the day that she released it to me. I don't know if it's she should have it in the shop by January the 20th, and it's called My Gentleman, and it is what we call the, a large kit. So she has 14 journaling pages, and here's one. Here's another. I like that she has used some really wonderful colors. I like the marbling effect. She used some dogs and lots of vintage browns in this kit. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to create with it. I'm also going to be using the Route 66 journal kit in the just journal that I'm making. And I'll also be using some Seven Gypsies products and probably some of my stencils and some Beeline Designs rubber stamps. But I wanted y'all to see the full kit before I cut it up. So I'm going to spend some time and cut up the kit and then I will come back and we will start doing different tutorials on elements and pages that I'll be making for this masculine junk journal. And here's one more thing. Norella has some new quotes that she has added to her shop. So I like these. What I'm is, I often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinions of himself than the opinions of others. So these are some great quotes. It's a separate file from the My Gentleman kit. And again, I'll have the links down below. So if you miss something, do check out there. And I also have a blog post that you can check up on. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group as well as my by Linda Israel. And of course, I'm on Instagram and Pinterest. All right, I'm going to fussy cut all this and then I'll be back. All right, I've come back. I am sitting here working on a few things. and I thought I would show you a version of coffee dyeing. What I've got is some really cheap instant coffee from the Dollar Tree that we have here in Oklahoma. And I mixed it with really hot water and I have a paintbrush. I went ahead and I've ripped a few pages out of one of these little notebooks. It's a five and a half by four inch. It's got 180 sheets in there. I picked it for a dollar. And here's what I'm doing. I'm just laying these in here. I don't need them to be two sided. So I'm not really worried about if there's coffee on the other side. And I'm just going to take my paintbrush and go in here and just paint my pages. The more coffee you put into that coffee cup or the water, the darker it'll be. I think I put like four or five 
big spoonfuls of instant coffee. You do want hot water. If you're worried about acidity, you can add a little bit of baking soda to it. I don't really coffee dye that much because it takes so much time for the papers to dry and all that good stuff. So I found that doing this method, I can do a few pages at a time as I need them. Uh, because if I stain a whole bunch of papers beforehand, I tend to lose them. <laughs> I don't know where they end up. My studio is a complete mess. So I just thought I would show you really fast a way to coffee dye some papers. Now you can choose to leave it on the tray like this to dry or you can use a heat tool. I'm going to use a heat tool and dry this and then I'll be right back. I decided to pick up, I've got these envelopes that do not have any adhesive on them so I don't have to worry about the adhesive getting wet. So I'm just dunking them into that coffee just a little bit that's on the tray to kind of help soak it up. I like it. Alright, so I'm going to dry these. There's a few pages that are dry now, so depending on how you let them dry will determine if they get a little bit more saturation into them. Alright, well I'm going to keep working here and I'll come back with some more tips and ideas for you. I have some of this newsprint paper. It's a 9 by 12 paper that's a little bit thicker than normal copy paper, if you will. I picked it up at, I think, the dollar store again for a dollar. And I went ahead and coffee dyed it. I've got lots of ephemera out here. Let me put the pad down. And what I want to do is attach these together so that I can have a full page to go in my giant book. And I haven't even showed you how big this book is. It's huge. The pages are 12 inches tall by 8.5 inches wide, if that gives you an idea. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these two pieces of paper. I'm going to use my cutting board to score this. So I'm just going to line these both up to about the eight and a half inch mark. Try to get them both even. Actually, I'm going to do one at a time because sometimes if you do two at a time, you, you don't get the right thing. And what I'm going to do is take my stylus tool and just score gently. Don't press too hard. You'll rip the paper. So I'm just scoring it slightly so that I can take this area and fold that over. I'm going to repeat that with the other sheet. So now I have these two pages that I have made this little tab and what I'm going to do is butt these up together to each other. So this is another way that if your paper is big enough and you want to attach them together for a journal, do a little fold over piece like this and now I'm just going to put glue here, flip it over and do the other tab and that'll attach these together. Oh, I did that wrong. I was putting glue on the wrong side. I need to put it on this side. So now I have a great big page that I can work on. So let's decorate this a little bit. This is my Wonky Gears stencil and I've got some Walnut Stain Distress Ink and I've got an oval blending brush. And let me put something underneath so I don't get it all over my desk. Alrighty, so I've got this Wonky Gears and I thought it would look kind of cool if I just added a little bit of design by stenciling it onto my coffee dyed paper. See there? I'm just going to add a few in different spots. Just kind of cool texture. Alright, I'm going to do that on all four sides of this paper. I'm liking how this looks. I hope you're liking it. So here's my page all stenciled. And depending on the level of embellishment that you want to do, you can keep adding more things to that. I'm going to grab a couple of rubber stamps and we'll stamp on this. I have a little clock face. There's a set of four of these images. Let me grab the whole sheet. So you get just the numbers. You get a solid face clock. And then here is another one. I don't know what this one's supposed to be, but it's another clock-like feature. 
And I think I'm just going to kind of stamp this off the page. Maybe I'll do it another time up here. And one down here. Just kind of adding a little bit here. I'm going to do the same thing on all four sides. I have this stamp that says a memorandum that I thought would look good on here. So I'm going to get that out. And I'm going to stamp it up here. Yeah, I like that. It just kind of gives it another little texture. And then on this side, I think I'm going to use the word journal. It's kind of a grungy looking journal. Make sure I've got it right side up. This is part of the journal quartet. So there's my pages done. Just like that. I'm going to work on some more things and I'll come back. I've got another page set for you. Here's what I've done is this is a page out of a special edition presidential dictionary. I know it's kind of weird, but basically up to the year that this was printed, it had a section about presidents. And when I've been ripping the pages out of this the dictionary, I'd save these pages because I was like, what am I going to do with these? And then I remembered when I was grabbing more pages that I could use these. So here's what I'm going to do. I have cut strips of a book. I believe it was a Bible. And I used those one inch strips to attach these two pages together because they were not uh, secure in the middle. And I want to be able to bind these in my journal. So I did that on both sides. I will tell you that if you're going to use this method of attaching two pieces of paper together, go ahead and let this dry completely before you fold it. Otherwise, it won't have very much flexibility. It'll be really stiff. But if you go ahead and let it dry flat and then fold it and use a bone folder to crease it just once, that'll give it a little bit more see, flexibility on the page. So I've got a few elements here. What I'm going to start with is I've got a page out of a, I don't know if it's an old thesaurus or dictionary, but it had really grungy looking pages. And I thought, I'm going to cover up what's back here. You could, if you had a page like this, leave this available, but I'm going to cover it up. So I want to put this here and I've got some pages. Let's see which one I want to use right now. This is from the My Gentleman kit. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. I'm just going to use Aline's Tacky Glue. I've given a little bit of distress edges around there. And so I'm just going to take this Aline's. And we're going to collage on here. So I'm going to start right here and put that down. And then I've got this book page that I want to put on here. I've also got a strip of a gel print that I want to put across the bottom. So I'm gauging where I want to put this image. And I think right about there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this piece. I'm just going to snip it with my scissors. And I'm going to apply some distress inks around my strip. And I think I'll glue these two pieces down next. Okay, so I'm going to glue this piece down. And this was a full sheet was eight and a half by 11 and I cut it in half so that it would fit on this eight and a half by 11 ish piece of paper out of the book. Now this is where if you had printed on cardstock or if you want to use two layers of pages of the, the calico collage, my gentleman, you can make a pocket here. But for now, I think I just want to glue this down on my page as a solid piece. So I'm just adding some layers here. All right, next I've got a calico collage sentiment. So this is one of her little sentiments that she's made. When you arise in the morning, think of what think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. And I think I'm going to put that just right up there. All right, so I've got a little blank space here, so I'm going to look through my pieces. What do I have that would be good? I don't think I want a dog and a horse on the same page, but I do have this hand with that's pointing, so let's put that right there. And then I think it needs a little something up here. So I've got from the 
enamel plates. There's four of them, and this says Italy. So I'm going to stamp this with the Archival Inkjet Black right there. And we could add more if we want, but I think I'm going to stop on this side, and then I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to work on this side. So I'm going to do the same concept. I'm going to use another book page, just ripping it down the middle. I'm going to add a little bit of Distress Inks to the edge. It's a real fragile piece of paper, so it's perfect to glue down on top of other pages. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down in the same fashion that I did on the other side. Okay, and then let's see, I've got another calico collage image, and I think this time I'm going to put it somewhat at a diagonal across here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. I have a little element from Seven Gypsies. I have a whole bunch of different packs, and I'll have a link in the description box to my blog as well as the products that I use. And I think this would be good as a tuck spot here in this corner. So I'm just going to glue on two sides, so two sides, and put that right here. I've got a dictionary, another dictionary page. I'm just going to rip it, and I think I'm going to put it right up there. I'm going to go ahead and apply some Distress Ink to it. I guess I could leave um, Ronald Reagan's face available, but <laughs> I'm going to cover it up. <laughs> and then I've got another quote. It says, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. And let, let us see, what else have we got here? Oh, I've got this little Route 66. So let's glue that up here. And then I've got, I can't remember which clockworks this is, but I have a whole bunch of these really cool clock type stamps. And I thought this would be good if we stamped it on here. So maybe right about there. Kind of gets across both pieces. So this is a tuck spot. So let me grab a journal card to stick. I've got one of these little envelopes that's part of the Route 66 kit. So I think that's what I'll put. I think I glued it together. Oh, there it goes. So it's got a couple little journal cards inside. So that'll go right there. So I'm going to set this right here right now because I don't want it to get glued. So here's one side, okay? Nice and collage -y looking. I could keep going, I could keep adding like washi tape and more rubber stamping, or save it for whoever gets it so they could add their own stuff. So I'm gonna flip this over and let's work on this side. Okay, so this time I've got another calico collage image. This time it's from the Route 66 kit. And I think I wanna put it down here in this bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Then I showed you earlier about coffee dyeing. So this is one of the coffee dye papers that I have. So I'm going to glue it down. I like these little notepads because it gives a little bit of writing space. And we've got this nice decoration on the page. I've got another scrap of paper I want to put up here. It's out of another dictionary. I've got another quote. Let's put that across here. I've got another image from the My Gentleman Kit. It's a typewriter, so that kind of looks kind of cool down here in the corner. So let's put it down there. All right. And let's see. I think let's stamp on here. So I've got this uh, number two. There's a set of four little designs, and it's this little tag. And there's this little half, this tag, and this tag are a set of four. And it's really kind of fun. So I thought, why not stamp that right there in the corner? All right, cool. I like that side. So let's do this side. Okay, another book page. I'm just going to go around that edge. So let's put that, let's put it right here. I've got another page from the Route 66 kit. And let's put that one 
I think like that we can leave him peeking out from behind. Why not? Got another that piece from that gel print that we cut for the other side. Let's put it maybe up here. And then let's pick another quote. Hear reason or she'll make you feel her. <laughs> and then let's see, what else? This is another element out of the kit that Norella has made, my gentleman. And let's see, what's the top? Okay, there's the top. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what the top was. All right, let's just glue this one down. And maybe right about here. And then let's stamp on here. I've got keep calm and carry on. So I'm going to stamp that right in here. All right, I'm trying to get this in the screen so you can see all of it. So what do you think? There's this side. And then this side and I'll put this in here so we got a really cool journal page that we just made let me show you a couple more that I made here's one that I made earlier same concept I just use some of the different elements different rubber stamp here different quotes use a different this is a rubber stamp from Beeline Designs, and this one is too. This is an ephemera piece from Seven Gypsies. And then we got one more. I guess I repeated the horse because I like it a lot. This one I stamped the cars. I like the cars. I thought those were kind of neat. It's another element from uh, Seven Gypsies on this one. It could be a tuck spot as well. Here is a tuck spot on this one. Another Seven Gypsies items. And then this I decided to use one of the little labels, and that's a tuck spot as well. I haven't put anything in it yet. Well, to be honest with you, uh, this journal is going to be huge. Let me show you what the cover is going to pseudo look like, and then we'll talk about uh, some of the other pages. So this is what the cover will be for my journal. It's really big. It is a Webster's Dictionary. It was an old one. And I had gutted it to put the pages in my subscription boxes. And I'd saved the cover trying to figure out what was I going to do with this. So I think what I'm going to do is I will decorate this cover a little bit. And then my pages, so this is a smaller set of pages, will fit inside. But I've made some other pages too. So let me kind of flip through some of those. So this is using a map that was in a spiral bound uh, book and I had used washi tape to put those together use the same concept of collaging this one has a pocket here rubber stamping did this again I'm repeating these because I do plan to have three signatures at least inside this journal if not more there's another page this one is a envelope, so I made this where you can open it up. It's got a tuck spot on front of it, and then you can tuck things behind as well. And I like that this postcard kept it closed, and you've got a little label here. And then this was using, I had a notebook pad of ledger paper that I coffee dyed, and then I happened to have these little stickers forever and then I used some beeline designs rubber stamps I didn't think these needed a lot of decoration on them just enough to not be plain and let's see and these were using some seven gypsies eight by eight papers and I attached them with some washi tape I think this is from Tim Holtz this is from the my gentleman this is from seven gypsies my gentleman little tags here and then flip this over and I just made another one of the coffee dye papers a little tuck spot here that's from the um, my gentleman this is from seven gypsies I just made a little note there. Use the bicycle duo, and this is the boys' bike from that. Uh, another seven gypsies. This is the bingo card from Calco Col or from Beeline Designs. I don't know why I'm saying that. And then this is one of the textured edges from the textured quattro group. And I put down red washi tape first, and then stamped over the top of it. And I just like the way that looks. 
So I did a few of those. What else do I have here? There's another. And then I showed y'all this page earlier where we stenciled all over the coffee dyed paper, stamped, and it's done. And then what do I got? Ah, here we go. Here's some more papers. So this time, the presidential pages, I decided to leave most of the images up here. This one didn't have an image, so I ended up making a tuck spot using a Seven Gypsies and Calico Collage. This is from Route 66. This is from Seven Gypsies. And then down here, I took some paper that I have. It's linen, but it's a pale green, and it's a text weight paper. And what I did was, is I sprayed with Tattered Angels Walnut Gold. So I used Walnut Gold, and I used the Connected Gears stencil. Then I went around the edges with another one of the Textured Edges stamps. There's four stamps, like I said. Let me see if I got that one. And that's this one that I used around the edge. And then another, I think this is like Ministries of Stamps. There's a whole bunch of the little... Uh, items like this and the text is from calico collage and i repeated that on this side so i made three of those a friend of mine gave me a cigar magazine and i took some of the pages and just folded them in half because i thought that would be some interest into the journal so i've got a few of those here that's upside down this one has like a slot machines at the Bellagio, I'm pretty sure, because that looks like it might be. And then here is some more cigars. When I was making these pages, I decided to lay them on top of the 8.5 by 11 and stencil through. So I ended up with two at the same time. And then I went back and rubber stamped on them repeated that that way I've got lots of journaling pages so as you can see we're getting a stack here <laughs> let's see how it's gonna be fluffy and I'm not even done yet <laughs> I did make some other pages that I'm still working on let me show you what I've got here I've got a oh, wrong pile I've got all of these pages that I want to decorate. So the, again, this was some dictionary pages, some more text weight papers. This was some coffee dye paper that Beverly of Beeline Designs gave me. This is some green bar printer paper, like for a pen fed paper. So I had a few of those. This is from a composition notebook. I just pulled the pages out so I got the full page. This is another ledger that I had some pages from and I washi taped those together with a page out of, I think it was a planner that I had. So I've got all of these pages that still need to be decorated and I need to go on my vacation. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stop the video here let y'all enjoy this because I did have a couple of tutorials and then when I get back I will do some more tutorials with these other pages and then I will show how I cover the cover as well as bind the journal together. So I hope you enjoyed this portion anyway kind of seeing a little creative process of putting a masculine journal together. If you did please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friend. You know I'll be back on Monday January the 27th to share with you the All About Robins new subscription box that I have in my shop. Those will be available that day. What else? We'll be making a journal that day. And then I'll be live again on Thursday doing some mixed media. Well, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your support. And I am on vacation getting some much needed R&R. &R, and I'll see you when I get back. Lots of love to everybody. Bye.